you often need that one access point in your lineup that you can use in multiple scenarios, whether indoor or outdoor. And in this case, Ubiquiti have released a UK Ultra Swiss Army Knife. Hey everyone, my name is Monty and welcome to Inside Wire. To keep the cost low of this access point, they've made some very interesting decisions. So let's take a deeper dive and have a look at the access point. So this tiny little box is what it comes in. We can go ahead and flip open the tab just here and inside the box. Again, very nicely packaged as you've come to expect from Ubiquiti. They do pay a lot of attention when it comes to their packaging. And if we have a look at all the accessories inside, there we go. So this is the access point itself, which we'll look at shortly. We have a couple of nuts and bolts in here and we have some screws and some wall plugs, depending on how you want to mount it. We have the plate to get this mounted to a wall. So again, you can pop the screws through here and the cable then comes through. We have some instructions and warranty guides in here and we have a level mount as well to make sure you are mounting this completely level. Finally, you get a couple of zip ties. So if you are mounting this around a pole, you can go ahead and use these zip ties. Now this product right here is very similar to another product that is in the Ubiquiti lineup, which is the AC mesh. And we're gonna cover this in a little bit more detail towards the end of the video. First, let's talk about some of the interesting choices that Ubiquiti have made with this device right here. That first interesting choice is Wi-Fi 5. Now this was released over 10 plus years ago. So we're looking at a bit of dated technology. I mean, do we need this in 2024? Probably not. And um, just to give you context, Wi-Fi 6 was released over five years ago. It's great probably because of the price point. So they wanna keep that price really low as possible. So they are putting in the Wi-Fi 5 chips inside here. In terms of a use case for this, if you wanted that fast convergent network, then maybe this isn't the device for you. But if you want something in a residential garden or somewhere the throughput of the access point isn't important to you, then perhaps something like this would be for you. Just like the rest of the Ubiquiti devices, this comes with a PoE input and there's no 12 volt or 24 volt adapter that you can add into this to power it up. So there's no external ports for that. So the only thing you can do is use a network cable. So we go ahead and plug that in. One thing I find really useful about this design is this little bit right here where you can go ahead and pop this on and you can flip, slip your cable in and that is now sealed up and no water is gonna get in there when it's faced this way. We have the white light on here, which you expect to come and see in all Ubiquiti devices. And this will then change once we've adopted the device. So I'm gonna go ahead over to the computer and do that. You can do this via your phone or the computer, but I'm gonna do the computer just to make it easier for me to show you some of the settings on here. We go into our Unify console and as you do with every other device in your Unify setup, you go ahead and you click adopt and we'll give that a minute or two while that goes off and adopts. That is now all adopted and all connected. You can see we have it connected to the port. We have what channel it's running on, all the details of the access points. I'm not gonna go through all of this, but you can have a quick look at what SSIDs it's broadcasting. We have the insights, as you've come to see on all models of the Wi-Fi access points, the RF environments, if you wanna run through that, and the system performance. Inside the settings, which I think is the, the most important part. So we'll go through the radio option right here. We have the outdoor mode, which enforces your country's compliance. So if there's certain things that you need to regulate to, you can go ahead and tick that. And the big one here, which we will cover a little bit shortly, is the type of antenna you have on it. So you have the built-in, the Omni, the panel, and there's also a custom one as well. So you have a few different options that you can choose. And then we have standard Wi-Fi settings, such as the channel, channel width, and the transmit power. You can choose to turn the LED on and off if you want. And then we have all the standard remove, disable, restart, and locate. And that is pretty much it for the access point. The main thing was getting those panels. If you do have any external panels that you want to attach to it, that you can go ahead and do that. We're going to take the back plate off the UK Ultra. We're going to take a screw out. And then we're going to screw it into the back, just like so. There we go. That's now securely put on there. What we can do is go and pop the cable in on here. And we can just slide the access point in and it then clips all the way in. So you can see on the screen right here that we have the UK Ultra and we're connected to it outside. I'm probably about five meters away from it at this point. And you can see the latency and the Wi-Fi signals one is 59 dB. If I want to go and look at the signal a bit further, I can see this and the throughput and the latency. So I'll quickly show you in different areas. So what I'm going to show you is just down the back of the garden here which is approximately about 10 to 12 meters away from the access point. So I'm just going to step over here. 
and we switch down to a minus 70 db so we switch down to a minus 64 dbm so that is when v standing still if i was moving around you saw a little drop to minus 70. if i look at the throughput for example i'm still getting around 120 to 150 throughput and in terms of the latency is still it's around 18 milliseconds and then going back to the signal strength we're dropping down again to minus 67. i'm going to go to the other side which is the other area of the garden that'll give me approximately about 10 meters away so a similar sort of distance and it gives you some sort of idea in terms of what it can do with the area coverage so probably a little bit closer maybe less than less than 10 meters maybe eight meters away and we move back up to minus 60. The throughput then pushes up a little bit to 100 and no it's probably about the same 150 megabits per second in terms of throughput and the latency has pushed down a couple of milliseconds so in the whole garden area i'm perfectly fine getting good coverage for everything that i need for browsing to whatever else you need to do in this area so why did ubiquity give the name the swiss army knife well let's get down to the real reason why this is it has multiple uses which is the main thing such as the swiss army knife so it can be used both indoor and outdoor and there are a few additional accessories that you can buy with this to give it multiple uses so we have the omni antenna with the desktop stand so it can actually be sat on your desk and it has some antennas that connect to the top so it doesn't need to be mounted to a wall or a pole or wherever you want it can just be sat in a certain area the next thing is that you can buy yourself is a panel so what that does is it comes straight on top of here i don't unfortunately have the panel to show you but you would go ahead and take this part off that i showed you earlier on and there's two ports on here and you can go ahead and clip the antenna straight on top that gives you directional wi-fi so it actually uses a pattern of 90 degrees and it can then broadcast it in that location so let's discuss some of the pros and cons of something like this well it's very versatile it's weatherproof so it's ipx6 rated so it can be used outdoor it has enhanced connectivity which means it can connect up to over 200 devices at any one point and the option of having two additional attachments that you can buy on here for different use case scenarios it's poe so it's easy and simple to connect together but the biggest thing is that it only has Wi-Fi 5. So this to me is the biggest con in this device. If this came with Wi-Fi 6, I would definitely be saying this is one to have in your toolkit. The final bit you've been waiting for is the UK Ultra versus the AC Mesh. So specification wise, they're both Wi-Fi 5. They both have four spatial streams. They both have PoE and they have pole and wall mounting capabilities across both of them. The AC mesh actually covers 140 square meters versus 115 square meters on this. So looking straight at the specs, the AC mesh looks a better buy out of the box. The $10 difference between the two, so $89 versus $99, just to get that extra bit of coverage would be a big sell for me. However, the UK offers a new sleeker design and it has those additional panels that you can buy that clip straight onto the device. Whereas the AC mesh, you can buy a panel, which is an additional thing that you need to mount on a pole or a wall. And the other thing is the cost of the accessories. So the stand with the omnidirectional antenna is $20 and the panel itself is only $39. So both come in a little bit cheaper. The panel to buy for the AC mesh is $99. Now, I don't have them side by side to do the testing to see is $39 versus $99 a big upgrade, but I don't have that at this point. But if you want to see a video on it, let me know down in the comments below and I'll see what I can put together. Would I go out of my way to update an AC mesh to a UK Ultra? The short answer is no. There's no need for it. They both have Wi-Fi 5. If it's covering and doing everything that you need to do at this point, there's no need for a change. If you're looking to choose between the two to buy a new one, maybe the UK Ultra Swiss Army knife is the one that you need to go for. Perhaps sometime in the near future, the AC mesh might fall out of support. Let me know down in the comments which way you would go. Is there something you would push you to either direction? And I hope you found this video useful. For now, this is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.